West Holmes Knights Football Weekly Preview Show on WKLM. This week's Knights Football Weekly Preview Show brought to you by MRV Signing Supply. I'm Matt Quay alongside Jake Seidel from Knight Stadium in West Holmes pulling out a low-scoring 9-8 victory on the road in the OCC for the New Philadelphia Quakers back on Friday night. And Jake goes to the game where virtually nothing went right for West Holmes, but in the end, they were able to pull out a big key victory. Yeah, and especially going into the playoffs, that's a big win you want to have. You know, we've seen these down and dirty wins that the West Holmes defense has get, uh, gutted their way through, but having a low-scoring game like that, showing you can get through the adversity, is going to be huge uh, come playoff time. I think the impressive thing about that, we know what the US West Holmes offense can do on most nights. That's the game West Holmes doesn't win earlier in the season, but the fact that the defense is playing as well as it is here lately, it allows their team to pull out maybe an ugly win like that they did on Friday night. Yeah, and especially in the last three Three weeks we've seen this defense kind of metamorphosize. I think the turning point in the season was that loss at Mansfield Senior really lit a fire under them like we can't let this happen again and they haven't let it happen again through the rest of the season so far. And how about the special teams making some big plays at the end of the first half that ended up being uh, huge as far as that win is concerned. Alex Pringle uh, can become a really reliable kicker for this West Holmes team. The 27-yard field goal he nailed and of course the blocked field goal by Logan Zoller. So I think the half ended up being really big plays. I think that makes three weeks in a row now the special teams has had a blocked kick and those are huge and then you look at Pringle where he started at the beginning of the season uh, his first year kicking with a football team to where he is now looking like a bona fide kicker uh, it's, that's a great weapon for West Holmes to have especially as I keep saying going into the playoffs having a kicker that can get you those mid-range field goals there can help you get those points when you need it because you got to take them when they give you the opportunity in the playoffs. No question about that. They took the opportunity. They got the victory and West Holmes now their fifth consecutive win. Now alongside head coach Zach Garner, West Holmes were getting set for week 10 of the high school football season. And looking back to Friday and that 90 victory over New Philadelphia, Zach, I was kind of thinking about this week, looking over the years here, all the success you guys have had. One of the things that's been in common with those seasons is you've kind of been in every single situation. These guys haven't been surprised by that getting into the postseason. And that was the example of Friday night. Again, you're not in those situations very often. Those guys were able to find a way to get a win. And another situation these, these guys have been able to get through. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was definitely a tournament atmosphere, uh, you know, big football game and a in a hostile environment and uh, what I'm most proud of our kids about is number one we don't ever quit you know you can look at uh, you know how, how we play the game and uh, you know and how that game unfolded on Friday night and our kids they never packed it in they just kept fighting and kept chopping the tree and, and finally got it down on the last play of the game but um, the other thing I'm very proud about with our kids is we have shown that we have multiple pathways to victory right whether it's defense special teams offense, shootout, low-scoring game, right? We, we, we've got multiple pathways um, to victory, and that's, uh, that's something that's going to serve us well as we uh, encounter uh, even more tournament-like situations this year. I want to ask you, Zach, when you talked about it after the game, I want to ask you again how important it's been to see Alex Springle and his development as a kicker and be able to do what he did again on Friday. No, you know, Alex is just such a testament of what hard work is and perseverance and uh, uh, just you get out of things what you put into them. And uh, Alex has put so much into kicking the football. And, and you know, everyone everyone has seen his maturation with their own eyes, you know, throughout the course of the season and how, how good he's gotten, how much of a weapon. Making that kick was huge in that game, you know, and, uh, you know, without that you know we, we don't win the football game so you know he, he's helping this football program win football games and that's that's just a story for every every young kid out there that, that wants to play football just put your time in make the most of your opportunities you get out of it what you put into it and Alex really went out there and he's shown that and, and, he, and he balled out in the biggest moment uh, one of the biggest moments of the year for us certainly did no question about that certainly a good example of that and look at the, the week 10 here I uh, we know there's gonna be a lot of guys back next year that good that's bold well for the future but still some key seniors on this team. I know senior night always a special night for, for this West Holmes team. Uh, absolutely. We've talked with our seniors this week just, just thanking them about what they've given to our program. You know, it's, it's hard in this day and age when it's easy to just, you know, worry about yourself and be selfish and, uh, you know, not be tough. You know, our kids have invested and been a part of, of our program and have been selfless and have been tough and, and have done everything that we've, we've asked them to do. And, uh, you know, this week's about honoring our seniors and uh, we are lucky to have a lot of guys back, but we're going to miss a lot of the, the leadership that we've had from, from from these young men and we're going to miss their parents as well you know that their, their parents allow us to coach them very very tough that's the, you know that's a that's why we have success man because
because we're able to be real and we're able to be honest with our kids and we're able to make it harder uh, in practice than it is in games. And, uh, you know, so for, so for our for our parents and for these kids, this is a great group and, uh, you know, all the all the credit in the world to them. And we're just we just wish the best for them. Zach, a lot of excitement. You know, the playoffs are looming right on the corner. You're going to be playing some home playoff games coming up. But how much uh, do you have to kind of guard against the excited about that, but also focusing here on this Friday? Yeah, well, the, well, the big thing is it shouldn't be hard for us because Mount Vernon is a very scrappy football team. Like, if you watch, they don't they play as hard as they possibly can, no matter what the score of the game is. And that's a testament to their coaching staff to get their kids to, to play as hard as they do, no matter what the score of a football game is. And, and, and if we're caught looking ahead or caught looking back you know we're, we're, we're going to be in for a world of hurt on Friday so that's been the message all week is focus on the task at hand do the things you need to do um, to be successful and uh, uh, you know we'll, we'll like where the, what the result is all right Zach thanks for your time and good luck Friday night thank you Jake Settle here with West Holmes kicker Alex Pringle. Alex, you hit a big 27-yard field goal. Uh, what ended up being a crucial score for West Holmes at, down in New Philadelphia. What was going through your mind when you lined up to kick that field goal? Um, yeah, I knew it was 0-0 at the time, and I just know I had to finish it and execute. Uh, I've been practicing for the last two years pretty much now, and I just knew I had to finish and execute. We've seen you grow throughout this season to uh, really – You've grown as a kicker throughout this season, I should say. Uh, how much hard work has gone into that? What do you have to do to get ready for that? Um, quite a bit. I mean, I kind of see what I've done wrong after uh, the last Friday night and see what I can fix and going into the next week's practice, uh, work on what I can do to fix that uh, those problems. How much does being a soccer player affect being a kicker? Does it help or is it too different of a sport to really help you with field goal kicking? Um, it's definitely helped. Um, I got a lot of my power and a good amount of my form from soccer, um, but it's just a little different than kicking a soccer ball, but I just got to know when I'm kicking a football and just kick it different, I guess. You've got Mount Vernon coming in on Friday night. Uh, what are you and the rest of your team doing to get ready? Um, we're following the game plan that Coach has uh, for us, and we're, I'm just going to go out and do what I've been doing. Yeah, well, Alex, thanks for your time tonight. Good luck against Mount Vernon on Friday night. Thank you. I'll send it back to you, Matt. Well, make sure you stop by MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Millersburg. They have all the top quality products and all the top quality brands, including Provia Siding, Cedar Max, Cedar Pacific, and more. Of course, their brand new facility they have over the past year. You don't want to miss that. Stop by and browse around the great staff they have also at MRV Siding Supply. That's on County Road 624 in Millersburg or on the web at MRVSiding.com. West Olds ready for week 10 of the high school football season on senior night. Back in Knight Stadium, West Olds a record now of 7-2 on the season. They've won five straight. They're 5-1 in the OCC. Taking on Mount Vernon, who is 2-7 now on the season. They're 1-5 in the OCC and they've lost now three games in a row for Mount Vernon. They've actually not scored a point, Jake, in the last two weeks. So Mount Vernon team really is struggling offensively going into this game. And they've had their struggles all season long. They, the, in those two wins, that kind of surprised a few of us uh, that cover the OCC. They looked okay, but they just haven't had any consistency at all, whether at home or on the road. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they look like when they come in Friday night. For West Holmes, obviously, wanting to get back on track and kind of finish this regular season the right way before they get into postseason action here. And for obviously, a senior night, they want to send out these seniors on the right way in this final regular season game of the year. Yeah, and honoring the seniors that gave so much to this program, you look at the last now three years of what this football team has accomplished, uh, it's been fantastic. And I'm looking to see West Holmes come come out they want to get things started quickly and not even give Mount Vernon a chance to get into this game and send them off in their last regular season OCC game in style. Really exciting football again the late of the year that's what you want to have West Holmes has had that as you mentioned the, you know, over the years now last several seasons and it's going to be that ca the case again the other one to finish off the regular season right but knowing also they're going to have a, hopefully a couple playoff home games also here in the future. And you like that but it's also you don't want to look forward to that you've got Mount Vernon coming in this week Use this as your tune-up game. Get those things that haven't been right throughout the season right. Get them ready to go. But you can't look forward to that first-round playoff game. because You look at every level, high school, college, pro, you'll get that team that looks forward to next week. 
and you'll get upset on your home court or on your home field. Don't want to take anybody for granted. And West Holmes certainly will try to take care of business on Friday as they take on this Mount Vernon Yellow Jackets team. We'll be back on video, of course, this Friday night. We'll have the video live stream coverage courtesy of our partnership with Claxon Communications. Our hometown football Friday night pregame show begins at 6 p.m. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. For Jake Seidel, I'm Matt Coy. Special thanks also to Zach Gardner as well as Alex Pringle. And that's for this week's Night Football Weekly Preview Show brought to you by MRV Siding Supply. Thank you for watching the West Holmes Night's Football Weekly Preview Show on WKLM.